What is up? I am back with part two of the trailer build series where we turn this trailer into one that's capable of running a junk removal business. In the first episode, we laid the floorboards on the trailer looking good so far. Since then, I did secure these front boards a little bit better with some more scrap wood. Same as I did before, just drilled holes through the mesh and pulled it down a little bit better there. But in today's episode, we're working on the walls. In this one, we're actually in a bit of a time constraint because we have our second official job for journeys in two days and it is a full house clean out so we have to hurry up and get these walls on otherwise I don't think we're gonna be able to do the job so yesterday I did actually start on one of the walls here I just screwed some of the two by fours to this one piece I cut all the two by fours I'll need down to size the rest of them are right there we're gonna need nine of those total right now we have three of them actually on the one of the first walls we ended up getting six two by fours I have the last three sitting right here. Those are going to be used as supports around this part or actually at the top of the walls. And then these longer boards right here, I actually got four of them. One of them is that one. And then I have these two right here. These are pressure treated as well. Now I already went around and measured this piece and that piece and I'm ready to cut them. I do want to explain what I'm doing before I actually do it. So let's get into that. So because of the way these gaps are within the trailer, I have to attach these two by fours and cut these big bigger pieces to size in order to attach it properly and have it connect better, I guess. So these longer pieces right here are eight feet long. I'm cutting two of them down to seven feet, cutting this one down into a three foot, a three foot, two foot piece will be scrap. I'm going to attach the three foot onto here. That way we can get the full 10 feet of length. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side with that board right there. Once I get this piece and the other side done, I can then measure and cut this last piece to fit right here in the front. That's just the way I'm doing it, the way I'm laying these two by fours. Once I'm ready to actually secure it, I'm gonna be drilling holes here to line up with all of these two by fours and running 3 8 inch bolts through the steel frame. That way these are a bit connected more. And then like I said, I'm gonna use these remaining two by fours to support the top or around here as well. So like I said, we have two days to do this. I don't know why I'm rambling. Let's get to it. Alright, so we got both the walls done. Hammer's about to die, so I think we might have to at least call it for today, but I think it's looking pretty good. Of course, they're not attached yet, obviously. They're leaning up here. This is kind of risky, not gonna lie, but I think it's turning out really good. It looks amazing from the inside. As you can tell, it does kind of shrink the trailer up, but it does look a lot better than what it did before. I don't know if I said this, but I'm thinking about putting some more supports on the inside. 
Alrighty, we are back with day two. Now, unfortunately, here on day two, we weren't able to record a whole lot. My buddy Caleb came over and we really just wanted to knock this out. So as you can tell, we did get the front wall done. Same concept as the two side walls, measured, cut, Unfortunately, one of the front boards was a little offset, just the way everything else was mounted on there. That was the best way to do it. But that doesn't matter because I did also go and pick up some L brackets, which we used to secure the bottom of the boards. And as you can see, Caleb was working on screwing some of those in. We did also get some hex bolts. The ones I picked up were a little too short, so we went, got some new ones drilled through the steel frame on the trailer. I don't have a good shot of them, but that is what we did. Basically just used a big drill bit, drilled through it, knocked those hex bolts in and tightened them up. Securing all of the walls to the steel frame of the trailer, just locking everything down. And I'd have to say, for someone who's not really much of a carpenter or anything, I really love the way this turned out. Everything was super secure, even though we still need to go back and secure just a couple spots. I did end up taking it out for a drive early in the morning the next day before we actually went to do the job and you can see here it rode perfectly nothing was shaken too violently which just reassured me that this trailer would work perfect for this job and now finally how much did this all cost all right we are back and it's time to run the financials but before that just a reminder, at the beginning of the episode, our channel's net worth was $11,550. Let's see where it's at now. I didn't really talk about the deduction costs throughout the whole video, but we did have three separate hardware store runs, and I kind of wanted to just dive into those a little bit deeper and just walk through those with you. The first deduction was all of those support boards, those two by fours, just the main structure, the bare bones of the walls. That came out to a total of $57.29. The next deduction was the main part of the walls, the bigger pieces, the outer shell, I guess you could say, as well as the original hex bolts that we later on didn't end up using. That total came to $170.36. And then the final run for some L brackets along with some longer hex bolts came to a total of $15.19, meaning we spent a total of $242.84 on those walls. And if you're wondering, yes, we did complete them within two days, which was about four hours worth of work after our nine to fives for both days. So we spent $242 and about eight hours worth of work into these walls. And why this build isn't perfect, it's definitely something that, you know, I can take a step back from and just look at and say, wow, I built that. <laughs> and if you're just as inexperienced as I am, don't let those negative thoughts, those negative emotions crush you from chasing your dreams or trying something new. Because if I was to do this again, I know what works, what doesn't work, and what can be approved upon. And I wouldn't know the answers to some of that stuff if I haven't already done it. Because everything I've done on this channel, it's been from a first timer's experience. So why I'm not at that point where I can just give complete advice, this is all just from my best knowledge. And if you have questions down in the comments, I'd be happy to answer them the best I can. Just keep in mind, I am no professional carpenter. And even with the flipping side, I'll do my best to answer what I can. But with the majority of this kind of stuff, you just have to start it, learn from your mistakes, and just keep pushing through. So go out there, try new things, be happy, be creative, do what you gotta do, and keep moving. But enough with all the sappy sap, let's go ahead and see where our new channel's net worth is. Again, at the beginning of the episode, our channel's net worth was $11,550. And after subtracting the total of $242.84, our new total comes to $11,307.16. But for future me's sake, let's go ahead and round down to $11,000. $307. And with all that out of the way, make sure to stay tuned because in the next episode, we land our second ever official junk removal job. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss it because we fucked up big time. And as much as I would love to throw it in this video, 
you're just gonna have to wait to see what happens. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. It really helps me and the channel out. And if for some reason you didn't, let me know down in the comments below what you think I can improve upon. And if you're not yet, make sure to punch that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with me and my journey. If you wanna see the first episode to the trailer build series, check this video out right here. That's where we build the floorboards on the trailer or check this video out right here. It's what YouTube suggests you should watch. So why don't you just go ahead, listen to YouTube and go give that a watch. But until next time, like, comment, subscribe, do what you need to do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.